Hi everyone and welcome back to my free for all series. This is going to be a little bit different because in this I kind of want to explain to you why I think it's a bad idea to buy the free for all maps. So I'm actually going to focus a little bit more on the commentary and on the gameplay now which might lead me to have some a bad game but I think well um, a while back I, I made a video which was called the the DLC or the the deal uh, the Black Ops Pass is a complete joke or something like that and I think a lot of people clicked on that mm, to find out maybe why I thought so or something but in general I it was just a pretty ranty free for all video which wasn't really that useful I guess. But the points I wanted to make apply a lot now too because this is we are just coming off of the uh, free DLC weekend. So maybe there are some people out there that are currently um, thinking about buying the DLC maps. And to them I say please don't. It's, it's a really bad idea. You are... The, the problems we have with DLC now are, are a lot we, we have problems that the player base um, that has DLCs is so small that you're gonna have bad connections almost the entire time um, like for example I I have problems uh, finding free for all games which should be one of the more popular God damn it, should be one of the more popular game modes. Um, I have problem finding free for alls on Friday evenings. Like I, I have to wait for six or seven minutes, sometimes ten minutes, just to find a fucking free for all. And that's because I um, bought the goddamn DLC, and I feel like an idiot for doing that because I never buy caught DLCs or I try to avoid it because I love the time. It's just bad. And one reason why you definitely shouldn't buy the DLC on the PS4 is that you can't uninstall it. So once you once you bought the DLC, you're just locked in. You're fucked. So what I would advise you if you're thinking about buying the DLC is to wait and see if the player base of the DLC improves. Um, so if a lot of people buy the DLC off of this little thing they had um, good then it might actually be playable God damn it. Um, you might actually be able to I hate it I'm an idiot at too um, you might actually be able to find people to play but if the DLC um, doesn't sell well off of the free DLC weekend you're you're gonna be in the same problem and like I said if you're on the PS4 you are fucked com holy fuck where is it? Oh, thank god um, you're fucked completely you can't do anything anymore and you will have bad connections and in um, uh, if you play especially I, I saw this in um, in Team Deathmatch, which is very popular, and a lot of the time the only game you're able to reliably find a match in is Free For All. So, uh, not Free For All, Team Deathmatch. So if you find a Team Deathmatch game, you're gonna be in with the sort of... You're gonna play with the tr try-hardiest of try-hard players. Um, I've had games where there's just four people on the same team that camp in different corners of the same room oh I shouldn't go up there um, and I can tell you it's just not very much fun um, anymore like the, the you're gonna run into a lot more campers than you used to and even the ones also um, which is not as bad but you're gonna be running into a lot more tryhards too so um, which is fine I like playing against good players but it's maybe not what you want like for me sometimes the fun of, uh, of 
Call of Duty is just shitting on people basically. And you're not gonna have that anymore because in a lot of cases you're just gonna be having a bad connection and playing against people who try hard. And if you are a rusher like me, um, you're the one who's gonna get punished for a bad connection. If you if you have uh, if you're oh, damn it, dude, I was outside of the fucking building. If you have somebody, I hate this so much. There's so many torques in this fucking game. Um, so if you have somebody sitting behind cover and you're trying to rush them down and you have a bad connection, then you're just fucked. Like, it, it's bad for you and it's not that bad for them. So I, in general, I would advise you not to buy the DLC maps because it's, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be a lot of fun for you in, in most cases. And especially the, the PS4 DLC you can't uninstall, so it's just a giant pain in the ass. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say on that. I was having a lot of fun in the free DLC weekend because I actually had some good connections for once. And I was able to find games pretty uh, reliably, which is also very good. So what I'm actually hoping will happen now is that they basically just... God damn it, that was real bad. What I hope will happen now is that they fail at selling the DLC maps. Oh, something else. Um, if you do get the DLC maps, uh, people hate those things. So you're not never gonna get to see them anyways. So in the entire time... I've been playing a lot recently. And I basically never... I think in this weekend I own was the first time I actually saw the DLC maps because they of course the new players want to see them um, like people who didn't have access to the DLC maps want to see them how they play and stuff like that so they're more likely to vote for them but uh, the people who are used to the DLC maps are not gonna vote for them because uh, well I guess that's a very subjective thing, but in my case, my idea, I don't like the maps a whole lot. They, they, well, I, I probably like them more than the average player because they are more similar to what I would consider um, Modern Warfare 2 maps with more avenues and stuff like that. But um, at the same time, they play really badly for. I, I like um, Elevation, but the rest of the maps I really don't like. Well, whatever. Um, and most people seem to agree with me because you are never going to see the maps anyways. So what I'm hoping will actually happen is that basically they'll give up on the fucking DLC system in this game and um, just give the idiots who, who bought the DLC like uh, just give them give them a dance cap or something or, or and yeah something like that probably they'll give us card points and also what you need to take into account they haven't been coming up with maps nearly at the pace that they promised so if you are going to buy the dlc maps you're in for a really bad time so i know this was kind of a ranty video but i Kind of wanted to make it and i hope you enjoyed i hope i could keep some of you from throwing away your ps4 uh, version of this game because to me sometimes it's it's unplayable and it, there is no way of uninstalling the dlc once you have bought it so don't buy the card pass or the blobs pass whatever okay goodbye hope you enjoyed if you did give me a like See you later.